one light, two lights, and three lights. Yeah. Uh, if that doesn't point out how bloody dark my apartment is, uh, to actually do certain things properly lit so you don't make mistakes and fuck it up, well, there you go. Just like if you're doing painting walls, I mean, you know, it's just, that's, that's what sucks about this apartment. Even after uh, almost six years, at least six years, I'm living here in August. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's, that's, that's the way it is, man. I mean, look, uh, for four and a half, which is basically what we call here in uh, Canada or Quebec, whatever, a two bedroom apartment that's still a bit cheaper than other places in the city or elsewhere. All right, so uh, happy to be doing a little update for you guys here. And I don't like how this looks. Why does this look darker when I look through it in the camera viewfinder? Hmm. Well, anyway, as you can see, I've been working for a few hours on this, which usually I only do about an hour or two, but I don't know. It's just, uh, what was I rushing to go out for? I mean, you know, look, see, it's been sunny all morning. Now it's about 1.30 and it's clouding over and the showers are coming back. Great. Okay, the way I said that, that's that's from a, a, a guy who has a channel, one of these guys, a few channels, I'm like that, you know, they find old cars and they get them running and this and that and they drive them or sell them or whatever. But he's just, he's this funny guy, he's from Minnesota and he's, he sounds like a Canadian, like more than me. And he sounds, he talks a bit like Red Green, you know. Anyway, so there we go, now we got some more better lighting here on the Brill and the Metro, the Metro. The uh, LaSalle Metro Station. You want to see Gloria? You want to say hi, Gloria? Gloria, you want to say hello? Hey? Gloria? No? Anyway, so, uh, okay, first things first before I forget, uh, even though I'm standing in a kind of an awkward place here, but again, I want to give you guys the most light as possible. Uh, best, uh, you know, picture. So, first thing before I forget, I will be fixing the, um, I am going to fix the uh, the fleet number, which is not this, it's uh, uh, 2507, and I made this one by mistake here, and that's why I colored over it, because, see here the thing is, as I was mentioning in the last part, you know, I bought like one marker, and then I bought another marker, and they were not the exact type of color I wanted for this bus which is kind of more of like a light, sort of a chestnut brown, you know, and like kind of a dull, very, very old school color. And actually, originally, these buses, they were not, they were, they were this color, like as a, I'm using in the picture here of the 52 that was restored, and I said it before, and I'll say it again, this bus should be in Montreal, but it's not. It's, uh, I don't know all the details. Uh, it was restored uh, here in Montreal by enthusiasts, and it lives in Grand B, Quebec. An hour and a half away, but it should be fucking here in Montreal because it's part of our patrimoine, which is a French word for heritage. So maybe one day. And uh, anyway, um, so I'm going to take some paint and I'm going to not repaint the whole thing, but I'm going to keep this brown as like the, the darker side of that color, you know, like the shading part. And uh, as you can see, uh, finished drawing the station itself, started coloring it, it's going well. I thought those lines actually would be harder to do, but it's actually not that bad. Quicker than I thought, a lot quicker than when I did the fucking World Trade Center. Oh my god, that was, that seemed to take forever. Imagine, you know, like, you know, World Trade Center is a drawing I did, which I never, rarely ever done vertically, and, you know, I did a checker taxi cab about here, and then, like, anyway, you get the idea. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update. It's going well. Uh, a couple of things that's annoying, though, about drawing on this type of paper is that uh, not only because it's bigger and the type of paper it is, um, the ink from the markers leaves a lot of streaks. So even after two coats, like here on the road, um, it, it's still not amazing. So you know there were there was a few drawings, not many, where I did, you know, part of it in paint. Like for example, my Elio's Pizzeria slash 64 Lincoln drawing I did back in uh, 2011, 2012. That sky is all paint. It's acrylic paint. And uh, this is a terrific drawing. You know, I'm actually surprised nobody ever expressed interest in buying this. You know why? Because I don't live in fucking New York and people are broke here in Montreal. No matter how much this city is burgeoning and the economy and people coming from everywhere and you go downtown, there's fucking Audis and Mercedes and 
and Audis and Mercedes and Audis and Mercedes and BMW and BMW and Volvos left and right and even G even Jeep Wranglers. Jeep Wranglers has become a status symbol. And uh, yeah, again with the sky there, I'm going to have to color that again um, because there's too many streaks to my liking. The One of the hardest things to do on this that I'm really not thrilled about doing it right away is the side windows, which is, should be a mix of darkness, I don't know, two, three passengers, and, um, you know, that then there's supposed to be a bit of a reflection of what's outside. So you see it's tricky to to uh, uh, draw and paint or whatever color, uh, you know, buildings or cars where there's windows. You know, I could do the whole thing just a reflection of the other side of the street, but I think it would look weird. It would look too mirror. See, that's the the catch, the catch 22. You don't want to make something look too much like a mirror, you know. Actually, just here, just for fun, here, let's look at this... Uh, 79 um, uh, Mercury uh, Marquee ad. See, look at the, the windows, see how they're showing those trees, and it's mostly trees, and then there's that weird blue tint on the windows there. That's something, uh, I don't know, I think they touched up this photo. It's weird, you know, they do that. They started doing that, I think, at that time. So that's it, guys. I got the drawing here on the old cutting board. Got a whole bunch of ads here. Most of these I have on... Uh, on Kijiji. I'm going to be doing a, a video about that soon because uh, I miss having a, my especially American business from what I used to have on eBay and I don't because so, I don't sell on eBay anymore. And Kijiji is a Canadian thing. But um, anyway, so I'll give you another view here. Better view, like I said, than, uh, uh, than uh, over on the table. And that's it. Uh, what else uh, did I forget to mention before I wrap this up? I'm thinking about, I'm still going to try to touch up these errors I did on the beam over here. Now that orange triangular beam, uh, specifically right here and uh, here as well, where there's a line too many. And uh, I made a mistake on the driver's uniform. Uh, I started coloring it green like the old, I don't know, some of the buses were kind of a greenish, a brownish green, I don't know, whatever. And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute, this is supposed to be like 1982, the fucking uniform is probably that lighter blue with the dark blue hat, so I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, that apartment building over here, uh, this, these walls here, as you can see, is a little bit, I'm a bit off on the brown there. That's more of like kind of a reddish brown, you know, like my building, so that's going to have to require a little attention. It's funny, you know, years ago I was doing, I was drawing this, uh, this uh, lamppost, you know, and I liked the, the plus sign design of it, and it made me think about how uh, you know, when I was a kid, you know, like my friend Julian's age 17, you know, whatever, 16, 15, 20, 21. I didn't really notice stuff like that. Or maybe I did, but it didn't make me think much about it. It didn't make me think about when it was made or how cool it was. Or, you know, I think that's what's great about growing older is, you know, I'm 43 now. And you, you get to a point where you appreciate things that you neglected in your youth to appreciate. You know, I'm not saying you have to. It's just I think you're a richer person if you, if you do. You know, uh, so... But uh, that's 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 really neat, and I I had studied this picture, this part of the picture before I put that stuff in there to, to figure. Well, it looks to me like it could have been made in '82 or just before that, and probably just as they were building that station too. Because hey, any any in any city, any apartment or home that's near a met uh, subway or metro station, pff, that's a major advantage, and therefore you know not on the cheap to rent. I'm lucky. I I live uh, you know near uh, Joliet Metro Station, and it's like. Uh, depending on the person, 10 to 15 minute walk, you know. Oh, well, especially for those of you who uh, might have noticed something on my walls in previous videos that maybe you're interested, don't hesitate to ask me about it. Most of this stuff is for sale. And um, a lot of this, mo I think almost all this stuff is on Kijiji as well. Uh, forget about the models, There's, uh, those are uh, off limits because most of these things I built them. And my die-cast cars, there anyone remaining, I'm not selling because I sold almost all of them a few years back, you know. And almost all this stuff, by the way, I framed myself. That drawing I did in 1994, that was like when I started doing this series on like forgotten classics. So imagine, 94, that means <laughs> that means this uh, 77 Plume of Valeri, uh, was, uh, which was considered probably to be one of the worst cars ever made. That and the Dodge Aspen. It still was a cool car, and, uh, you know, 77, 94, so it was, uh, you know, uh, 14 years old. There you go, so, uh, 
I'm gonna keep rocking this drawing. I'm really into it, and it's gonna be wrapped up pretty quick. I think I'm gonna end up doing a, a drawing. It looks like maybe for my friend Scott there in Alberta there, who I, I love his channel. I love all the him and his friends helping to save and run these old cars they find that could have been gone to scrap. What do you think, Gloria? Gloria. Meow. <laughs> there, that's an ending, huh? There you go. 